Yeah, Brazil, uh, it's advanced in some points and too late in other points. So we are the seventh place in the world in Bitcoin adoption. So the population, mm. people are really interested in Bitcoin. I think that's because of our history as a country that already passed through hyperinflation. We already had nine currencies in the last uh, 100 years. Most of them just changed the name, did some kind of rebranding, just cutting the zeros and calling another name for the for the money, for the Brazilian money. Mm. Right now we are in hell. Hell has uh, 27 years but already lost 86% of its purchase power. So in Brazil, we have a movement of people trying to keep wealth. So they are learning to invest and Bitcoin comes with also this proposition to keep Brazilian wealth. They are we are recurring to a lot of mechanisms, mechanisms to try to get out of the fiat uh, devaluation. But our government regulates and mix with all of the other crypto. So our regulation is um, it's, a mess. <laughs> uh, it's a mess and trying to connect as a as a, a thing that should be uh, KYC, true exchanges, mm -hmm. our stocks exchange will sell Bitcoin and other kind of tokens. They are integrating with other uh, protocols as well. But mixing everything because this makes sense for them to keep everything the same path to try to to regulate and brazil brazil is also creating a cbdc so i think that when they launch the cbdc maybe regulation will be more, more clear so what is a cbdc where's the role or the paper of bitcoin in all of this if they will separate from the other cryptos what we are seeing that is complete completely messed up mixed with other cryptos and trying to make the fiat system be the the one responsible for people to get access to Bitcoin through ETFs, through banks and all the fiat system as well. But Brazilians are really, really interested. They are uh, curious. They are trying to reach out. They are perceiving the, the inflation and the necessity to connect to Bitcoin as a non-correlated asset to the um, fiat system and as well the movement of um, a medium of payments where the Brazilians can exchange peer-to-peer -peer without the necessity of intermediaries.